Sorry, I just stuffed up for a second. But yeah. Okay. So, if A of N, if the sequence A of N, A subscript N converges, then the sequence A subscript N is bounded. So, bounded means that it has a lower bound and an upper bound. So, if we can show that a sequence doesn't have both a lower bound and an upper bound, then it doesn't converge by the little bit of logic we did before, which is called modus tollens. Therefore, it, is, it diverges. So, let's prove that a sequence diverges. So we're going to do the identity function. So f of n equals n. Remember, n is a natural number. OK. So we want to prove that that doesn't have, doesn't have, it's not bounded. So we're going to show that it doesn't have an upper bound. So the way we do that is exactly the same as we've done in the notes. So we go, OK. Well, so we just we just use the the Archimedean property essentially. So the Archimedean property says that for all epsilon element R exists n element n such that n is strictly greater than epsilon. So we can sort of see that this shows <laughs> that the sequence diverges because it doesn't have an upper bound. Also remember that the Archimedean property was proved by proven by a proven via the completeness axiom. So yeah, extremely extremely cool. Okay, cool. That's that's the end. So this sequence diverges. Okay.